Welcome back guys. In previous video you learned about how to set up a react application using webpack and babel. Now there are just a couple more things you need to add. For example if you want to go ahead and use style sheets then you need to add some loaders because webpack by default understands only javascript. So if I want to use css files then I need to use some loaders uh, so that it can convert the uh, styles into JavaScript. So for that we're going to be installing two things. Uh, one will be the style loader and second is going to be the CSS loader. So I'm already into this repository which is react app webpack. So just to show you on git, uh, this is the git repository. So you need to clone this from here and then cd into react app webpack uh, directory. Okay. And then uh, you will install npm install style loader and CSS loader. Okay. And then over here, you just need to set the rules in the module. You need to put CSS, which means whenever you find a CSS file, then go ahead and use style loader and CSS loader. Since we're going to be using two loaders together, then we can put this into an array. So style loader and CSS loader. Okay, so now if we go to our source directory and if we create a style, so let's say I create a style sheet and I give it body background. let's say keep it to gray okay I need to of course save this as style sheet so I can put it like style dot CSS okay and let's change it to gray <coughs> okay now inside of my app dot CSS if I want to just use this style all I have to do is just import it so I'll say import style it's inside of my root directory so I'll just say in fact needs to be inside of the source directory so okay so it's inside of my source directory it says style dot CSS hope that works why is it saying hash over here okay let's just check that out Okay, let's see what the error we are getting. Console. Okay, of course we need to rerun the Webpack Dev server after we've installed these. So I'm just going to stop my server. Okay, so you can see that it's saying that you may need an appropriate loader to handle this type of files, which is a style file. Okay. We had the server running before we installed those pack, those uh, loaders. That is the reason why it is giving that error. So we just need to run the server back again. So it's going to pick up the setting from webpack config.js, the new settings basically, uh, with the loaders. So now we are not going to get any errors. Okay. So now if I go back and check, refresh, and sure enough, you can see now the style is being applied. It's it's become gray. Okay. Great. Now, so that's for styles, uh, but what about images? So let's try that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just take an image and see if it actually allows us to uh, use the image. Okay, so I'll just go to my pictures. I've got this image, Thor image. Okay, and I'm just going to paste that there. So let's go to projects, react app. React app webpack, and I'm going to paste it here in this in the source directory. So I've got Thor.png. If I try to use it inside of my app, so let's say I go over here and I say import uh, Thor image image from Thor dot PNG and let's try to use it here. I'm going to put that inside of an image tag. 
image tag source and I'm going to put that Thor image given alt attribute Thor image okay and let's see what happens so again you can see that it says that unexpected character loader doesn't there is no appropriate loader to handle this type of file so again to handle images we need a different loader because webpack would understand javascript it won't, it won't understand images so we need a file loader for that so all i have to do is just stop the webpack dev server and just install npm install file loader and then uh, I'll go back to my webpack.config.js again I need to add this loader here so I can say if you find any PNG or J, JPG or JPEG or uh, uh, what are the other types PNG JPEG okay let's keep it this for now okay then go ahead and use the file loader file loader and now if I check npm run dev you can see a development server is started and now I don't get any errors and if I go back and check uh, what am I getting what am I getting dot Okay, I need to wrap this inside of round brackets. So I'll say this, this, and then I will also check if there are any SVGs or any GIFs. That also. Let's try that now. Okay, it's going to restart because I've made changes. let's see and sure enough now you can see we've got the image of course it's too big because I have to style it so you can put the style into your style sheet for now I'll just put it on image because this is just for testing environment later on you can put it on classes so I can just put width is equal to 500 pixels for now just leave it like that okay great so you can see images being loaded uh, once you've got the appropriate loader Okay guys, so there's just one more thing you uh, need to add over here, okay, which is basically history fallback API and set that to true. Uh, the reason why we do this is because uh, if you go ahead and try to access any particular route, let's say slash dashboard, so later on you will learn about route. I won't be discussing the routes right now because it will be too early. So let's say if you're trying to access a, a slash dashboard route, uh, and if you do a page refresh uh, it won't be available uh, why because there is no logic on the server side to handle slash dashboard all of the logic you will create on the client side okay so what history API fallback set to true will do is basically it's going to go ahead and uh, send all the routes back to redirect all the routes back to index.html okay and from index.html react would know how to handle those routes okay so you need to set this to true and then you just need to set this public path to root so that all of the public path is set to this root okay so now if you go ahead and do npm run dev you will see a notice over here which will tell you that uh, all 404 page not found are going to be redirected to index.html right okay and webpack output is served from this root directory which is basically the job of this okay so that's all you have to do and you've got your project set up uh, for routing as well as for uh, styles and for images all of that so it's basically you've got a good setup available for you okay and so we'll learn further in the next video but you don't have to worry about this all of this uh, right now I will be explaining in detail uh, in the future videos but this is important in case if you want to take this as a boilerplate for starting your uh, React project.
okay all right guys take care uh, if you did like my video please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video take care bye, -bye.